Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how and why to use sales orders. My name is Matt Holquist with QuickBooks University, and uh, you can see here in the flow chart we've got sales orders, okay? And so a lot of times people wonder, uh, do I need sales orders? Why do I use sales orders? Okay, so a sales order really is used to acknowledge a, a purchase from a customer that you're going to fulfill later, okay? So it's really just to keep track of, you know, items that have been purchased by your customers, okay? So an example of this would be, you know, maybe, you know, there it's gonna be work that's gonna be performed in the future, um, you know, so from a consulting standpoint, you could technically use these. A lot of times it's used in, you know, I don't want to say construction necessarily because it's not construction, but it could be like in this sample company file, a remodeling job, or it could be, you know, some, let's say inventory that, you know, somebody has purchased, but it's on back order and you need to acknowledge the purchase. Okay. So not every business needs to use sales orders, but it is a really great way to acknowledge when a customer sends you a purchase order you send them a sales order saying, hey, we got it. It's on our, you know, it's on the books and uh, we will fulfill this. Okay, so I want to walk through how to do that. All right, so first of all, we start with an estimate. Okay, so if I go to create an estimate here and we're just going to pick, a, you know, I'll pick Christy Abercrombie Kitchen and we'll say the item, let's say that it's um, drywall. All right. And we figured out this is per hour. It's going to take us 100 hours to do this job. Okay. So you'll see here it's 2500 bucks, And then we have a markup of 140%, $6,000. And that's going to be our total estimate. Okay. Now, of course, uh, you know, the customer's not going to see the markup here. So if we went to print and preview, you're going to see that we're just charging... A uh, hundred hours, sixty bucks an hour, six thousand dollars. Okay, all right. So we close this, and let's say that we go and save and send this to the customer, and they come back and they say, "Hey, it looks good," and they issue a purchase order to us. All right. So let me uh, save and close this. Okay. If you go to your chart of accounts, okay. So we've got this estimate out there, and we've got to do this work, but we're booked you know, for the next month, let's say. Okay, one thing I wanna show you is if you go to your company drop down menu and you go to the chart of accounts. All right. Just not cooperating with me here. All right, we go down here, you're gonna see this sales orders and estimates and purchase orders, okay? These are non-posting transactions, okay? So what that means is this is not posting anything to your accounting records. It's really just tracking this. Okay, so estimates, you know, that's not work that's been done. Uh, sales orders, again, same thing. Okay, so these don't post to your records until you actually create an invoice. All right, so you see here in the estimates, I double clicked on that. You'll see that here's the Christy Abercrom Abercrombie estimate for $6,000. Let me double click on that. So you see up here, you've got a couple, of, a couple of options here. You can create an invoice directly from this estimate, okay? You can create a sales order or you can create a purchase order, okay? You're going to create a purchase order uh, to send to your vendor, maybe for some goods that need to be ordered for this. Let's say it's drywall, okay? Uh, create sales order. That's what we're going to do here, okay? So in this case, uh, we want to send the sales order to Christy Abercrombie to say, hey, we got it, all right? And, uh, you know, thank you for accepting the estimate and we're going to do this. So you're gonna, you know, you can put in description to be uh, installed on such and such date, da, da 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 you know, whatever the case may be, all right? And so then you can just email this directly to uh, Christy, all right? And if you wanna, you know, preview this, you can preview it and see, say, hey, here's the sales order, $6,000, okay? So again, if we save this, okay, this is not posting anything in our accounting records. All right, let me go back to the chart of accounts over here. 
Okay, and you'll see down here, sales orders. Let me double click on this. Okay, so you see here's the sales order here. Okay, it's based on this estimate, $6,000. Again, not posting anything to our accounting records. So then at that point, let's say that uh, we do the work and we go in and we can create an invoice directly from this sales order, okay? So you can create an invoice for all of the sales order or for selected items. All right, we're going to click OK for the whole thing. All right, so now it is taking all that sales order information. It's putting it onto a, uh, an invoice, and we've got our final invoice of $6,000, okay? And it's got the memo down here from estimate 615, uh, and you can add your messages and you can add, you know, custom information on this invoice that you want to do. Maybe there were some additional items you need to add. Um, and uh, you'll see here, it's also showing the amount ordered, previous invoiced, zero, invoiced, 100. All right. So we can print and preview this as well. And you'll see that uh, this is just a basically standard invoice. Takes it from the estimate to the sales order to the invoice. All right, balance due, work is done, and you're going to um, send it on to your customer, okay? So that's basically it. Not every business is gonna use a sales order, uh, but many businesses can and uh, do use sales orders. So hopefully this uh, clears us up a little bit. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to post them below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University uh, where I help all types of businesses learn how to use QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online and uh, answer their personal questions when they become members. Head on over now, qbuniversity.org.